Y'all know what it is. I like to point to y'all. See you, Rita. Have a good day. Rita's going out to lunch with somebody important right now. One of the reasons why it's important to be married, because while I'm here live streaming, Rita is over there making connections and doing what it is that she needs to do on my behalf in order to make sure that we're doing better business. One of the important, because it always comes back to the money. For me, marriage is a business first. Send that chick out there to go and get them bags. Send that chick out there to go and get them resources. Send that chick out there to go and bring back that money. Send that chick out there to network effectively. If you are sitting and looking at a woman as just something that you can bust down. And I went skinny dipping last night. I did. If you look down there, I can look right down at the pool. Anton was in the pool having a good time. Uh, making sure that we do what we do. And we was out, we was out, I was doing a little bit of, I was doing a little bit of skinny dipping. I, I can't be showing y'all that. I was doing a little bit of, a little bit of work last night. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I do what I do every day. Every day I do what I do, right? But more importantly, a woman is a Swiss army knife. Let me just let me just break this down before we get into the Stephen A. Smith thing, because you're going to see the difference between a woman that is combative and a woman that is submissive. Right. A woman that is submissive is all the women that I have in my presence. Shout out to Onyx says Grand Grand Rising uh, Gems. Hello, Rita and Anton. Just showing support for one of the best channels on, on the two. Shout out to Onyx Monopoly. We love you, baby girl. We love all of our bag chasers. We love all of our flowers. We love all of the people that continue to pour in us because we're going to pour into you first. Thank you, love. Shout out to Onyx. Shout out to Shannon. Shout out to uh, Beautiful Disaster. Shout out to all of my ladies and everybody that's a bag chaser. We love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the platform. Let me, let me give you a breakdown, fellas. First of all, you're doing yourself a disservice by looking at a woman from a sexual perspective first. I'm going to be honest with you. I genuinely, genuinely don't care about your box. I know that's going to be a hard pill to swallow for some people, but I'm just giving you the real. I genuinely don't care about your box. I care nothing about it. I like your femininity. I like your demeanor. I like the way that you move. I like your intelligence. I like your submissiveness. I love your ability to be able to communicate effectively. I love it when you be a woman. There is no, I don't hang around a lot of guys. I surround myself with beautiful, gorgeous, awesome women. And beauty starts from the inside first. I surround myself with beautiful, gorgeous, awesome women. And maybe I am just crazy out of my mind, but what I'm trying to tell y'all is that I look at women as one of the greatest tools and resources on the face of this planet. Now, the thing that y'all going to have to understand when you're talking about women, right? And shout out to y'all. I'm going to come back to the, uh, to the super chat shortly. I'm marking them off. The thing that y'all don't understand about women is that it could be your greatest asset or your worst nightmare. And that's just like anything. Like when you think about a power tool or when you think about stuff that you use in order to do some of the most efficient things in society, the cranes that we use to build these tall buildings out here in Dallas, right? The industrial lawnmowers that we use in order to manicure our lawns and our grass. Right. The wood cutters that we use in order to tear down a lot of these trees, even the stomp removers. I mean, every single major tool that you can use, the Internet that we're having a conversation on, the tongue that's in our mouths. It can be used to be just as destructive as it is productive. And there is no greater weapon or tool in your arsenal than the woman that you are surrounded by or that you land next to every single day. If you have an army of women, you can literally take over the world. If you have an army of women, you can literally take over the world, but it first requires for you to look at them and recognize them 
as the Swiss Army knife that they are. If you're only using them to cut bread, you got a Swiss Army knife, but you're pulling it out just to cut bread, which is the equivalent of busting her down and getting your nut off. Then you're doing yourself a disservice because you're not even utilizing all of the tools that you have in order to really win. Why would I look at her as just an, as a butter knife? Why would I use her in the same way that I would use a butter knife when I can use her as a Swiss Army knife? I can use this thing to do anything. I can take over the whole world by putting that battery in her back, by by first being a man that I have to be, and then using her in order to really take over the world. Why am I focused on her pussy when I can be focused on her mind and then, and then weaponizing everything that God blessed her with? Because I'm going to just tell you, a weak man stands no chance in the face of me because all I'm going to do is empower that woman to over, overtake what he got going on and then bring him into me the way that I need him done. Like, I'm going to empower this woman to then take over the mind of this sucker over here that don't even know that the deal that he's doing has nothing to do with the fact that he's doing a deal with me, has everything to do with the fact that he was enamored with the woman that came into his presence way before I even got there. Sometimes y'all don't even know that the women that y'all talking to is aligned with me. And then I'm just coming in and closing and sealing the deal. I don't have to say that she with me. I don't have to say that this woman over here, and it's more than just Rita. It's the women that work with me, work for me, everybody. You don't even know that the woman that you oogling over literally works for me and the deal that you're going to do and the better deal that I'm going to have is going to be as a result of your weakness and your inability to see the power of a woman and how she has dominion over you because you can't control yourself and your dick discipline is not existent. I'm just trying to tell you, this is real. Women are dope. What, you see that plane flying in the back? Look at y'all, Dallas. I see y'all looking good. Women are dope. They are the most beautiful, deadly, phenomenal, awesome creatures in this world. And the first step, I'm going to give you a clue because you have no clue. The first step, and you empowering her is to not look at her as an object. Stop looking at her for her box. I got it. I know this is a morning show, so I got to be a little bit more careful. We about to get into the Stephen A thing. The minute that you can control your cock is the minute that you can then empower them because then they can operate without having to worry about being objectified. They can move in confidence. They don't have to worry about every time that you next to them, that you sizing them up and trying to undress them with your eyes. They don't have to tiptoe around you. Now they can be free. Now they can be empowered. Now they can be feminine. Now they can really, really work for you. And then they rock with you and they learn to really love you. It's too much. It's too much game. This is too much sauce for y'all. Too much sauce because everything that y'all talking about has to do about whether or not this woman is going to be this. And what you, It's too much sauce for you. As a matter of fact, if you want to find a wife, then first have a conversation with a woman without objectifying her because then she's going to love you and embrace you much more because she already want to rock with you. She just want to know in her mind that you're there for the right reasons. And then after that, she going to fall in love with you. She fell in love with the fact that you have the right mentality. She already wanted to rock with you. All you had to do is give her a reason to get comfortable. And now that you made her comfortable, now that she looks at you and understands that you're not there for just her box, she'll give you her life. She will give you everything. There is nothing off the table. She will run to the ends of the earth for you because she knows that you love and you respect her and you want for, you want the best for her. And as long as she want the best, you want the best for her, she'll, she'll give her life to you because she knows that she's protected under you. When women say they're looking for provision and protection under a man, they're looking for a man to empower them. And then they will give you everything, understanding that the best version of you is the best version of them. But if you can't see past your dick, then you're never going to be able to understand the power that you have with dealing with women. They want to be used. 
They love to be used. They embrace being used. They're there to be used. That's why God said they're they a help meet. That's their creation. They were created to be used in a positive way. But as long as you you just focusing on this one thing, she like, dang, I got arms, legs, breasts, a good brain. I'm feminine. I'm soft. I smell good and all of this. And this is all you looking to get out of me. That's all you want. And you looking like, yeah, that's all I want. I'm an imbecile. I'm a nincompoop. She like, take advantage of me. Look at me. And you like, yeah, let me get that box. And she communicating to you without even communicating to you because what comes out of her mouth versus what it is that she trying to say to you is two different things. And so you so busy fumbling the bag, fumbling the bag, shout out to Emate Udoka. And now you done ruined everybody life because your inability to be able to control yourself would be your greatest asset and weapon then empowering the women around you to be successful, but you so busy trying to sleep with your bosses or your co-worker's wife that you don't even realize that that guy and that woman could have been one of your greatest allies. Man, that's the difference between you and I. That's going to be the difference between success and failure. But let's get into the show. Game too heavy. Game is too heavy. You still can't see past your dick. Every time a chick walk past you, you got to do like this. All you got to do is keep your head straight, fam. And when she talk, actually pay attention to what she say. She'll respect you. Keep it moving. You got a, you got an asset and an ally for life. All you got to figure out is what her greatest asset is. Shout out to my girl, Six. Just brought her in. Took care of her. Hey, Rita Time said, I'm back home feeling inspired and motivated. Y'all took such good care of me. Love you. You hear six? Six will tell you. Six will tell you. Six is my baby. Do you know how powerful it is to have a six standing next to you? Literally a goddess in real life from head to toe. All you got to do is make sure that she good and she taken care of and she will multiply what it is that you have and bring it back times a thousand. She will multiply what you have and bring it back past a thousand. Just try not to slap her butt when she walk by and she gonna be good. I said six. I hit six up. I said, yo, you ready to come to the D? She said, just let me know. I said, I bet. I said, Rita, make sure we take care of our baby girl. Put her on the best flights. Make sure she had the best accommodations. She pays for nothing when she comes here. Nothing. Tell her, don't touch nothing. Don't pull out a wallet. Tell that chick to bring her ID. That's it. Make sure that her dog got accommodations before she ever get to the airport. The whole nine yards. You know what six is going to do? Listen, when six is standing next to me, six is like, Anton, I will do whatever you tell me to do. And that is a fact. Six said, Anton, I will do. You just tell me the word. I'm on it. Whatever it is that you say, I'm on it. So talk bad about me in front of six and see what happens. Talk bad about me in front of six and see what happened. But you niggas can't control your dick long enough to actually understand what it is that's in your best interest. And you so busy trying to get this pussy that you can't even. Let me stop. It's the morning show. Shout out to my girl six. <laughs> Shout out to my baby girl six. Y'all better. Y'all better. Anyways, keeping it moving. Keeping it moving. So let's get into the show. Shout out to all of my people. Let me tap into the, some of these super chats. Again, shout out to Onyx Monopoly. I appreciate you. Six is my baby girl also. Philip Sadiq said, I got you, Time Dog. Uh, PJ Austin, shout out, says Talk Heavy. And uh, Aaron L, all facts today. Let's get into the Stephen A. Smith thing, right? Now, now you're about to see the opposite. Now you're about to see the opposite, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kevin Bauer says, I agree with most of what you're saying, but if a female was known... Was a known bust down or used to do porn. Oh, Jesus. Some extreme circumstance that we have to overcome. 
But let's answer it. Uh, used to do porn. I was an on bus down. I used to do porn to have her butt out on the internet. I'm not going to take her serious at all, no matter how dope she is. Well, that's your loss, bro. Because all she needed was a dope dude like me to help her to understand what she really capable of. And as soon as she got, as soon as a chick that used to do porn or whatever, so on and so forth, she's still a Swiss army knife. You just don't understand how to use her effectively. I'm going to let you not look at her that way. And I, Listen, send her to me. Send her to Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I'm going to get her right. I'm going to put her in that good position, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that she become a part of the bag chasers because I see the value in her. Baby girl, if you used to do porn and you used to get buzzed now, come to Anton from AntonDaniels.com. If you don't want them all in your videos, <laughs> all in your songs, come to Death Row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come over here to Death Row. Shout out to Demetrius. says, what up, Anton? Do you recommend co-ops or internships while in college? Uh, I recommend internships. Come to Death Row. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want them all in your videos, if they looking to get some kind of internal respect for you, baby girl, come to Death Row. I'm going to make sure I clean you up and get you right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the show. So. Uh, Malika Andrews, I believe that was her name. Malika Andrews. Let me share the video and we're going to break it down. We're not even going to talk about it heavy. Uh, we're going to break it down. <laughs> Onyx, Death Row, what's Suge Knight? Don't worry about it. Come to Anton from AntonDaniels.com. We're going to make sure that you get taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kevin Robinson says, I made more money with my homegirl that does OnlyFans uh, because I put her in some marketing game that she didn't know. 20 k 20,000 a month split. Bag talk or no talk. <sighs> Shout out to my dog, Jeff Liskum says, thanks for bringing the cooler weather to Dallas. <laughs> Y'all had a storm yesterday, but it stopped right before I landed. Shout out to my dog, Jeff. I appreciate everybody for uh, Death Rose on your channel six. <laughs> 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 They don't know what to do with y'all. Listen, they don't know what to do with y'all. Ladies, just come over here to me. I'm going to make sure that y'all get everything that you need in order to be successful. We going to make sure that we take care of y'all. 